Hi there. So it's been um, a little while, I think, since I made a vid. Um, I'm back at my flat in Surrey now. And um, in a way that's a good thing because I've got my psych team down here. Um, the ones that I've, you know, the community mental health recovery service that I was working with before my um, section last year for the anorexia. Um, however, this year as a whole has been, put it this way, I can't believe it's like November um, today. First of November. Um, I'm I'm struggling with a lot of things. I'm struggling with still a lot of PTSD from last year. I'm struggling with, but slowly chipping away um, at my. Uh, ability to eat food and not have to make the calories up in alcohol although I still do that um, I worry for my liver because of the failure last year um, and I, I worry for a lot of things about myself but there's still the balance of fear where I I kind of I'm fearful to let go of doing what I'm doing, i.e. restriction, alcohol and purging behaviours late at night versus Eating more clean foods, I would eat clean foods. When I say clean foods, I mean foods that I'm not afraid of. Um, you know, uh, basically vegetarian, burgers, sausages. Um, I'm not big into vegetables at the moment. I don't know why, I just not um and trying to it's trying to find balance and trying to trust my own self i don't like the fact that my all this is swelled up what i think they call chipmunk cheeks um even though it might not look like that on camera it if actually at the moment the chipmunk cheeks are doing me a favour because had I not got them I know that my bones my cheekbones would then go in and my jawline would be very prominent and I'd then look kinda really worse than I do. Um I I don't know, I'm still trying to get over the death of, of Soph. Um, I'm still trying to get my head around a lot of things. Um, I'm trying to enjoy life, but I feel very lonely and isolated. I'm trying to ask for help, ask for support. Sometimes when it's there, I don't want it. Um, it's difficult, but I'm not going to give up fighting for what I want. And what I want is to actually wake up in the morning and not have a whole load of body checking to do and and 
have my days defined by numbers, body checks, and stuff like that. It's really hard. Um, yeah. It's really very, very hard. I try and surround myself with a lot of positivity um, as regards I watch YouTube vids of other people that have maybe been through or going through what I'm what I've been through and I'm going through um, and take inspiration from recovery etc um, but I think when push comes to shove I have already admitted in my own head that I cannot live in what I deem to be an adult body and no therapist, no person, no nothing can change that. Um, they probably could if they drug me and reprogram my brain but that's not going to happen because it's the real world <laughs> and I'm not that deluded, believe it or not, to know that that's not going to happen. Um, so I just need to keep every day waking up and even if the battle starts all over again, the battle will start all over again. It's exhausting, it's tiring. I have my happy times, I have very low times, but I guess um, I'm still working on it. I just wanted to kind of check in and, um, yeah, so I have, and I'm going to get back to working out what I'm going to do next, tonight. <laughs> anyway, uh, yep. End of call for now, um, and yeah, take care, all of you.